So, hi Ed Bentil. You've been with us this whole week as a fellow journalist at the Stockholm Water Forum. Uh, can you please share with us what you have been uh, producing this week? Uh, thank you very much. And this week has been most exciting, challenging, and but fun. For me, it's a perfectly new environment because I, I work for a print uh, media organization. Though this is electronic, I think I've adapted well. I have so far interviewed about 13 people on various um, various um, environmental sanitation uh, issues, bordering on climate change, um, wash, and um, other other environmental issues. And you did that here in the in the watercube TV. For yes. the first time, how did you enjoy that? It was really, really fun. It was really fun. Th this is the first time that I'm doing something like this. Yes, and it has been fun. You also uh, wrote a few stories uh, uh, that we put on uh, on our website, on the IRC website. Can you just mention that? how many did you do? And yes, I've, I've written about three articles and then five highlights for the various um, sessions which took place during the days mm -hmm. that the, the, the week has, has been ongoing. You told me you are in the, in the good position that you spend roughly 70% of your time writing in exactly. your country on environment and sanitation. What are one or two of the key leads that you get out of this conference that you can work on in your, in your, in your paper and sharing with the Ghana audiences? Yes. Though climate change is now a, a global concern, I feel that we are not really having that kind of impact back home. The information on climate change is very limited in Ghana. And what I have learned here would, I, I believe, help me to highlight issues of climate change and also write more on water and environmental sanitation. In, our, in various of our uh, discussions that we had, you were also struck by the fact that uh, you picked up from sessions the economic uh, importance of water sanitation. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about that and are you planning to, to write about those issues in, 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 in your newspaper also? Yes, I am. I am currently... Um, Accra, as the capital city of Ghana, have serious environmental challenges, which include choke drains, and we still have problems with our sewage plants, um, where raw fecal um, or raw sewage is pumped into our seas, and these obviously have very negative impacts on our health. And I intend to highlight these issues and see a positive um, side of the, the issue come next year, um, Stockholm 2010, hopefully. From the closing session, uh, you told me you are planning to, to write a short story back to new newspapers because of the impact of water and sanitation in Africa. What was the key, the key message that, that came out of that and that you're going to publish later on in the, in the daily uh, graphic? Yes, um, I was amazed myself, but it was a very staggering report that some 320 million people in Africa do not have access to water. And for me, that is pretty uh, crucial. That is pretty crucial. And uh, I think our government must step up or double their efforts to provide more water to people who need it most. Okay, is there any other uh, uh, message or lead that you um, will, will probably uh, uh, be able to write more about in, say, the next few months in your, in your newspaper? Yes, I, I, I think it will be on rural water supply in my, in my country, mm. focusing more on rural water supply and environmental sanitation issues. And have you been able to also link up with uh, uh, specialists on specific, uh, specific topic areas that you can also better use in the future now? Yes, I have. I have Is quite that from a number of um, people, not just from Ghana, but from other countries, 
who have similar problems and I, I think that in my future reports we could um, strike out some regional um, comparisons to see how we, we are faring when it comes to environmental um, sanitation. Okay, so at the end of this, how are you, uh, you your personal feelings now about having been with us for a week and now uh, having to leave later today, is it, or, or, or tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow morning. So how, what are your, 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 your feelings and that what you will share with your family about being here in Stockholm, at the mm -hmm. Water Cube, at, at, the, at the forum, at the, the IRC stand and working together with me? Um, first and foremost, I, I want to thank IRC for inviting me and giving me the opportunity to work with the Water Cube. It's, it's a new experience and it's been fun. I think Stockholm is a very beautiful country um, with lots of green and maybe back home in Ghana we should also um, aim at planting more trees for a healthier environment. Okay, thank you. Now I am handing over the camera to you so that you can interview maybe me. Okay, that's no problem. Hello. Dick, um, could you please tell us who you are and what you've been doing for this past two weeks? My name is Dick de Jong. I'm the Communication Officer at IRC International Water and Sanitation Centre, based in The Hague. Um, and we have a shared stand here with local partners working on information knowledge sharing around water sanitation and hygiene. And we brought you over here as a, as a journalist from uh, uh, Ghana, where we have a, a, re a local resource center network, and we, we did that because you are already a member of the Ghana Water and Sanitation Journalist Group that uh, we hope will a be able to contribute to better features uh, and, and, and hopefully more interesting feature writing around water's water uh, sanitation and hygiene as well as water resources issues. So what have you been doing this um, past few days? Um, I have been mainly, um, with, together with you, I, you, you have, we've asked you to write stories uh, occasionally. You have every day written a, a sort of highlights uh, um, blog on our website, irc.nl. I have also been enjoying working with you and bringing you into contact with, with relevant people um, um, in, this, in this forum. And um, I'm very sorry that we were not able to bring the, uh, the Ghana colleague from the Resource Centre Network here because he was sick. And I hope at least that uh, on the, from this experience there will be uh, better, better uh, possibilities to, uh, to work together also in Ghana and, and, and maybe also from the, to help feed into you stories that are from other parts from Africa as well as from the globe that could be relevant for the Uganda situation. Um, I heard this the first time that IRC is actually having something like this. Well, it's not only IRC. Uh, uh, this is the first time that at the Stockholm Water Forum, and that in fact it, at any World Water Forum from that perspective, there is a water cube. And we brought in five of these flip cameras that we are using right now in, to give that into hands of our partners and in fact of our colleagues. So I've seen at least 15, 20 people people uh, interviewing participants here at the forum who normally never do film and so that is a very uh, interesting experiment that mm -hmm. we do and four of these cameras will go after this workshop to partners in the field who can use this this, this technology also to document their experiences mm -hmm. and load it up on websites. So what was the motivation behind uh, setting up this um, cube? To make uh, the, the four are more interactive and we do this together with CV, the, the organizer of the Stockholm Water Week, and with ACFO. And how would you um, kind of um, peg the, the level, the, uh, the achievements that has been recorded so far with this new technology? 
Well, I'm very excited about it. Uh, I've been uh, at various of these, these, these international water fora before and uh, also as with IRC and a partner stand, the, the link between the water cube and, mm. and our stand and the, the, the amount of interest that we've had from people who first were, were initially maybe were a bit reluctant, but when they saw, when they saw what happened here, mm. Uh, and that you can see actually the videos that you uh, that you were taping earlier, you know, five hours later on, on online, and the fact that we're getting thousands of page views internationally on watercube.tv is 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 very exciting and and very interesting. You and I have both struggled with the same thing that journalists struggle with. We uh, you can't film and at the same time write. So that's a lesson that we have to take both of us. Uh, uh, filming and writing are different traits, but overall it has been a remarkable, lively and interesting experience. So um, that means you would recommend that in future um, CV programs they should be replicated? Well, the interesting thing is that it's not only in, in, in Stockholm, but we have already received requests for, uh, an, uh, from other agencies that are doing a major international uh, water uh, symposium in Mexico to repeat the water cube including bringing journalists from there to the, to the water cube so that we repeat more or less what is happening here and with happening with you also in Mexico so I think that is uh, the best uh, uh, proof that this system has, has caused and this is in, it is new innovative communication has created a lot of interest by major water organizations in the world um, do you think Stockholm Water Week has been uh, ha, ha, have made some progress, or is it just like uh, business as usual, just talk shop and? and um, I've I've been reading a few of your highlights, so um, I have I have not been in any sessions because of the uh, the uh, the partners that we have here and the uh, the, uh, the writing and, and editing and putting your stories on uh, online and a number of things. Um, it, 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 it goes like that always, you never know exactly what, what comes out of it. There are um, certain sessions that deliver more than others and, and that, that's how it goes. So you think bringing me over is justified? Have I really um, proved something? Um, I think you know, yeah, bringing you over has been very, very beneficial also for us, and I think you picked up quite a bit of interesting leads um, that you can use in in, uh, in Ghana, and that you know, I think you are now able to write to, to ask the right questions to uh, to to your to your policymakers about a number of these things because you went into quite a number of the of the sessions. Um, and you are, I think, also then better uh, tuned with the Ghana uh, water sanitation and, uh, and hygiene people in, on the ground that are having to delivering the impact of all this, the, the stuff that is being talked about in, Skip, uh, in, uh, in Stockholm. Yeah, so is there anything more that you would want to add? Uh, have a nice flight home and we'll stay in touch. Thank you very much. <laughs>